Hey guys, welcome to Fear and Wine. We're back with our Let's Play of Song of Horror. This is part seven. Uh, when we last left off, we were uh, at the... I'm glad to show this. Isaac Farber's Antique Shop. Uh, creepy stuff has started to happen. There's a new enemy, one that when it shows up, you have to like stay calm. You, if you move, you'll die. Um, <clears throat> you have to follow this thing, but if you fuck up, it gets closer, and if it gets closer to you, it kills you. So, you know, that's fun. Um, let's see, what do we have? Oh, yeah, we found the doorman's keys. So now we can unlock all these doors. Did we just come out? I think we came out of this one, huh? Yes, we did. Okay. Yeah, we're going back down this way. Oh! She needs a hiding place. All right. Um, okay. I've got to go somewhere else to hide. Okay. Okay. Oh fuck me! All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hide fast there. I'm trying to. I'm trying to stop getting stuck on things. Oh shit! Oh shit! Right here. Got it. Now let's not fuck this up. Got her music on. I do like that she puts her headphones on. Somebody wake me up already. I think that's pretty cool. Um, okay. Fuck, that like threw me off. We were like heading a direction, but then, um. Uh... Oh, yeah, don't run. Don't run. Why are you running? Oh, it's. Come on. Why is she running? I'm not even pressing the run button. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know if it's is it maybe you it's to, is it toggled? I don't know. I don't know why she was doing that. All right, fire exit. All right, so that all happened because we went back downstairs to grab a um, grab the keys. Oh no, that one's just stuck, okay. Okay, let's make sure it's clear. All right, we're good. these? Mm -mm. No, that sounds very key. Okay. Can't see a thing with this rain. I mean, I can see, but hey. I mean, I assume all these are locked. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the sound design in this game is really good. Do you know 
first thing. Good. I don't need any more excitement. All right. <clears throat> Okay, I think all these doors are going to be locked. So this almost feels like kind of useless that we're going all the way up here, but it's fine. It's exploration. What do you want? I must have gotten used to this, but all my friends get scared here at night. Well, I'm sure you got a new reason to be scared here, so... Yeah, I don't... I just don't... I don't think any of these doors are going to open. Mm -mm. All right, all right. Look, I know we don't want anything bad to happen, but I need to get down the stairs a little bit faster. So sorry, bad guy, uh, demons or presents. We're just uh, we're trying to get back downstairs a little bit faster than normal. Okay. So forgive me. Try not to kill me right when I come down here. I just I can't do the slow walk all the way down. Oh, what was this? No, sort of neighbors in block two. They look a bit old. Okay, so I do believe that the guard has the keys to her place, and her place is up here. I'm like pointing, even though nobody can see what I'm pointing at. Yeah, right, yeah no one see that one's not a press square. I think it's this door. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. We do need to figure out how to get up there. Which one of the keys will help in that department? Let's see, that door leads back to the shop. Nope. It's blocked. So never mind, let's uh need to figure something else out. Right, this is where we came from. Oh. I made entrance. Oh, wait, 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 no. There was a door inside the uh, security office. Hide under table, good to know. Okay, see, so we actually. Okay, okay, so there was more to look at. Unless that door's locked and we don't have the key. This is a fucking bathroom. God damn it. That's her bra. Okay. So let's, uh, I guess let's go back to the shop and see if these keys open up anything else. We did open up the, uh, <clears throat> little antique floor, but there's like, there was nothing to do there. I think we have to do something before we can have any progress that way. What's the door all the way down here? Um, maybe the keys work there or something.
Hey. Nice. Okay. We're clear. Hold on. Clear. Uh. Uh. Nope. Okay. We've got rot on the walls. Let's keep that in mind. Clear. Oh shit. I always wonder where. If this is where the electricity meters are, or if it's just a storage room. Somebody threw something away in the waste paper basket. End of shift. Oh. Ah. Damn, Walter, what the hell have you done? I found traces of mud on the stairs to block four, which lead down to the window on the first floor. I know it was you. Plus, you ruined the handle on the window. Have you gone mad? I've informed a building handyman so that he can fix it as soon as possible. I don't know what the hell's up with you up with that girl and I don't really give a damn stop screwing around and start behaving yourself it may turn out she's not hysterical as you claim but rather that you are one big weirdo this is the last time I'm putting my ass on the line for you huh cause he's a big fucking creeper yeah he's like climbing up to roofs and shit <laughs> nice an adjustable wrench that's pretty invaluable oh, oh what what the hell is going on Get out of here! Monster! Oh shit! What the hell is going on? Alright, so we're gonna have to hang out in here for a little bit. Electricity meter. Some neighbors have already been caught stealing somebody else's electricity. Huh. Okay, what was, um... I'm trying to think if we needed an adjustable wrench for anything lately. Okay, adjustable wrench. Excuse me, chest girdle. I'm trying to think if there was any time, any time to. No chest girdle. Okay. I'm trying to think if there was any time where I needed to unscrew something. Let's. We're gonna have to search this whole place again. Could technically just Google it to move this along. You know, that's another reason why. I mean, I'm not also going to say I, I get stumped a lot. I mean, I, I do, but it, it is also just to keep it from where an entire part is me stuck. You know, I feel like that's not fun at all. No. All right, so we do that. Have the hydrogen peroxide, and we have the bottle. The bottle he mentioned using that uh, that stuff he used at crime scenes to follow the blood somewhere, which is already kind of spooky. Oh yeah, you can't listen through. We did check the camera though, so 
We know we're clear. Oh, there was a code in here. We don't know it, though. I mean, I could also just Google that. But then I feel like we're going to skip right ahead. So, hold on. <clears throat> I'm at least going to... All right, so here we are. Let's see what it says after we find an adjustable wrench. Let's go and chunk into giant ornament. Oh, right, we already did that magnet. Get the magnet hanger. Blah, blah, blah. Doorman's key, day shift report. We already did the hydroperoxide crank handle. We did that. Adjustable wrench. All right. So we're going to go back to the shop. The lock drawer off to the right can be opened with an adjustable wrench. Okay, so we are we're in the right right place. And we went the exact we've actually been going the exact order that the game wants us to go. So it looks like she's over here somewhere. I guess it was a drawer that was locked and I never pressed anything on it. Is that what Oh, right, 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 right. No, we did look at it. I didn't think it would need the adjustable wrench. So the, remember there was this door up here, this drawer, that had like a weird slot, like a slide on it right here. Right here. So now we use that. Why would Dad put this his house keys in here? Isn't it a bit too much? Copper key. Yeah, I guess we'll take the wrench with us too. Okay. Say so what? How? What key is it to? Oh shit! What am I doing? What's that say? Oh, okay, it's our us. Mm hmm. Okay. So now I'll head back to the fire escape corridor. That would be... Oh, I'm starting to hear a heartbeat, which means that something terrible might be coming. Okay. I believe the fire escape corridor is this way. And it looks like that, you see that little key thing right there? Maybe that's where we're going. Okay, don't need to check. Excuse me. It's showing a question mark over here. Sure. Got him attacking to kill me. What the? Uh. uh, yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. That that's new. They usually don't let you change their fate. They just kill them.
Oh my god, is it going to make me start from the beginning? Because I'd rather just kill her off. Because... No, actually, I would have to restart with any character that comes back in. I don't know if they let me cha start from my save point. Okay, we start right here. Right? Yes. Ooh, that was creepy, though. Um, I knew once I saw the mirror, I was like, oh, we're dead. All right, so that's the kind of instant death you can uh, expect from this game. Oh my god, it says instant kill mirror. Inside the storage room, it will give you that. It will instantly kill your character. <laughs> Let's see, little portion of show. I got a quarter of a lot of bird. Oh. Oh, that's what it's for. Okay. Oh my god. For a second, I thought it was just going to be a scare. Like, for real, for real. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm. Wait. -mm. Right. Oh, this one. Mm-mm. Oh. How do I use these? Mm hmm. I don't we'll need that key anymore. Okay. Alright, we're good. Hey! Got a tape up here. Recording play. Just no, August 9th. That explains why the bathroom mirror was shattered. Okay, hold on real quick. <clears throat> so step in the part. It's very important that you enter the corridor to the right, then step into the first room to the left to find the closet. Because it says it's the only hiding spot and she won't know where it is unless she sees it first. See, so that would be a cheap death if it like suddenly wanted you to hide and you wouldn't know how to get there. So, I right, says so the door is locked. Nope. Okay. Oh, it's a note. <clears throat> Father, I kept a copy of the key to the house and display case in the showroom. Inside the Chinese puzzle, I would have left it in the store for you, but I don't trust the doorman. I provided you with the reminder of the combination on the back of his note in somewhat cryptic form, though, just in case this falls into indiscreet hands. A big hug, Erica. Oh. Six wheel, I can't write it in Romanian, Roman numerals. P.S. Walter. Walter, if you're reading this, take a hike. Okay, hold on. Mm -mm. Okay. Ah. Yes. Okay. 
Okay. One more time. Oh. Faja. Uh oh, another broken mirror. Ooh. <clears throat> Got a dark room, some liquor in the living room. Christ, something's wrong. Dad, where in the world have you gone? All right, so, so let's go into the corridor to the right. Hold on. Dad never leaves his house so late, especially in this weather without a scarf. Daddy, are you here? Don't call him Daddy. You're too grown to say that. My dad's keys. He can't have left the house unless it was an emergency. Oh, yeah, let's look at the mirror. Mirror shattered. Did Dad do that? But why? It doesn't make sense. Are we good? First room to the left. Okay. So there you go. Wardrobe is empty. Okay. Bible next to a bottle of whiskey. Dad hardly drinks and he's certainly not religious. What the hell is he looking for? Another shattered mirror. This can't be a coincidence. This is just pure desperation. A Ouija board. Okay. Books on magic rituals. Estoterism. Black arts. I don't get it. Oh. Recording to by Isaac. Erica, I hope you are the one to find this, my daughter. I have had a few problems. Some sort of nightmares or visions. I don't know what to call them. I'm exhausted. I have a hard time falling asleep. And the doctor believes it's stress. But I suspect it's something else altogether. That blasted walk. Okay. <clears throat> Books on theology, particularly the history and mythology of religions. Uh -huh. Circle piece. What? Screw cap. The lid to my puzzle box, to be precise. Okay. Tranquilizers, these aren't the meds dad usually takes. What bottomless pit have you fallen into, daddy? Did he set his bed on fire? Is that some kind of sick joke? Ooh. This ain't looking good. Alright guys, well actually that's going to be the end of part 7 of our Let's Play of Song of Horror. We'll be back with part 8 very soon and see what dad's gotten himself into. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Until next time. Peace.